Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you the basics of working with ZenGuard. ZenGuard protects your applications from reverse engineering and unauthorized customization by providing encoding and obfuscation. It also protects from unlicensed use and redistribution by providing comprehensive licensing support. This combined functionality makes software distribution worry-free. For this tutorial, I'm using a basic skeleton Zen Framework 2 project deployed on my local server. Before I get started with Zen Guard, I'm going to open one of the application's files to view all the source code in its original form without any encoding or obfuscation. Okay, so my first step in Zen Guard is to create a new project. So in the toolbar, I'm going to click the new icon and select Zen Guard project. In the create Zen Guard project wizard, I'm going to begin by entering the project's name and selecting to use the default location offered to me by Zen Guard in my workspace folders. I'm now going to enter information about the end product that is going to be generated by me using ZenGuard. The name of my product. The product's version. And the destination folder of the encoded output. Now I can either specify a path using existing or new variables or by specifying the full path. For this tutorial I'm just going to use the browse option to quickly select my desktop as the output location. In the next page of the wizard I'm going to specify the files or folders containing the source code that I wish to encode. In this case, I'm going to select the folder containing the ZenGuard tutorial application deployed on our local Zen server. Finally, I'm going to select the PHP version of the source code. I can also use this page to add filtering if there are any files or patterns that I wish Zen God to ignore when encoding the selected files. That's it, let's click finish. And the new project appears both in the God Explorer on the left and in the main editor view. In the editor, the overview tab provides a general overview of your Zen God project and also gives you access to most of the other available functionality. The security tab allows you to define your project's encoding configurations such as configuring the obfuscation options and enabling licensing support. The exclude list tab allows you to add filters for entities you don't want ZenGuard to encode. The header information tab lets you define the headers in the encoded files. And last but not least, the XML Editor tab, which allows you to view and manually configure all your project options. Once you've configured your project, simply click the Encode link in the Overview tab. You can view the progress in the console view at the bottom of the editor, which also reports that the encoding went well. Let's see for ourselves by again opening the same module PHP file we opened at the beginning of the tutorial, this time in the selected output location we defined in the wizard. That's it for now, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Guard that you'd like to share with the Zen Guard team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. For more detailed information on additional features of Zen Guard, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.